You got to wonder how many hours we spent on the show attacking the Communist Party of China. A lot. It's a totalitarian government. Our leaders admire it, and that ought to make you very nervous. That's been our position. It still is our position, probably always will be. On the other hand, we want to be as honest as possible about things we see. So when the Chinese government does something virtuous, it doesn't happen much, but we're willing to say so. Here's what they've done. China's announced it will limit private equity firms from raising money to buy residential properties in China. Why is that? Because Chinese citizens, turns out, need somewhere to live. Real estate bubbles are bad for everybody except, of course, for a small number of real estate speculators. As the Chinese government put it, houses are for living in, not for speculation. And that's a very good point. They may have learned it from watching, say, the state of California. In California, the average home is now over $800,000 in part thanks to speculation, and homelessness is totally out of control. Chinese don't want to copy that model. Nor do they want a California-style popular culture, one that worships celebrity over achievement. Obsessing over sleazy famous people on social media? Chinese officials announced that is, quote, poisoning the minds of the country's youth. Can they stop the youth from worshiping celebrities? Probably not. But at least they're worried about it, and that's a start. They're also, by the way, worried about video games in China. Online gaming for children in China will now be limited to three hours a week on the weekends. This is being done, the government says, quote, to prevent the addiction to online games. Is that a crazy idea? Well, according to a recent study in this country, the average American kid plays video games for more than 15 hours a week. A poll from the University of Michigan found that 86% of parents believe their children spent too much time playing video games. Apparently, the other 14% weren't paying attention. So it's a legitimate problem. What's interesting is when was the last time you heard one of our political leaders even mention video games or housing market speculation or celebrity worship as a problem? Now, before you respond by saying that politicians shouldn't be involved in our personal lives, remember that the CDC already very much is involved in our personal lives. So maybe our government could take just a moment from bossing us around to improve our actual lives once in a while. Just go ahead and try. Even if you fail, it will be an improvement. At least we'll know you notice.